Hey students, this is lesson 632, part B. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to write things using function notation. Um, I want you to know right now that function notation just kind of identifies what the independent variable is, what the input variable is, and it's uh, it looks like this. And this is exactly the same. This is a linear function, so it's a linear equation. It's really the same as writing this. The only thing is, uh, with the function notation, we're, we're identifying that it is a function and that the input variable is x. Um, so now if I were to say, what is the value of this function when x is 2, um, which essentially is just taking 3 times 2 plus 2, which is 8, um, I can show that by just writing this. I want to know what f of 2 is. And f of 2 is inputting 2 into the function and then evaluating it, which is 8. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, here's some more examples you can look at. Uh, and these function, function notation can be used to represent linear function and nonlinear functions. We're going to do this one in class, this activity. So let's move up to here. Uh, Notice again that function notation is just using the f of x to represent the y value or the output, where n x is the input. All right, so uh, evaluating function, it says the function t of x, that's how you say that, t of x. I'll write that down. And that's just saying that um, the function is t and the input is x. All right, so uh, t of x equals 65 t represents the number of words t of x that Rachel can type in x minutes. How many words can she type in 7 minutes? So really all they're asking is what's 65 times 7? But this is a nice shorthand of way of writing that um, what the output is for this function, meaning how many words can Rachel type in 7 minutes, and that's called t of 7. And t of 7 is equal to 65 times 7, which is 455. So she can type 455 words in 7 minutes. All right, I'm going to let you try that. All right. That's it for this lesson, and uh, we'll do some more of this in class, and we'll talk about it next time we meet.